What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Avocat Studios. I am your host, Sir Storm Child, a knight in the fight against boredom. And uh, this show is called Avocat. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about Stargate again. I love this show. Strap in or strap on, whatever you're into. Hit him, Carl. If you'd can't. I gave you three days to come up with a new theme song. This is what you came up with. Was well, it catchy or not? Thank you, Carl. It's amazing. And let's do this. Thank you so much, Carl. Um, so this episode is really good. Uh, there is no gunfire in it once again. Um, th this episode is titled Wormhole Extreme. You'll understand why in a minute. There you go. Um, so a little backstory for how this episode goes down. In a previous episode, there was this guy called Marty who kept calling uh, other calling the government and saying, I'm an alien. I know about aliens and whatnot. And uh, they're like, okay, are you, how crazy is this dude? This little dude. Uh, he was also in an episode of X-Files and he's been everywhere. Um, so he is basically, he's a, he's a, he turns out in that episode, spoilers, uh, he's an alien along with these four other, or three other dudes who were, they were deserting uh, a military uh, war or something. And they flew, they deserted and they flew here to earth and it was trying to hide. And Marty was the weak link. He was the one possibly to blab about who they are. They could keep a secret, but apparently Marty can't. He's kind of an idiot. He's a lovable idiot, but he's stupid. Um, so... In that episode, they you find out that he got drugged, uh, and they were trying to keep him in check. They weren't going to hurt him; they were just trying to keep his mouth quiet and be like, "Hey, man, like you don't want like our government to come here and you know try to drag us back for a military tribunal and all that." So they're very protective of each other, and that's uh, that's very admirable. So when it gets to this episode, Wormhole Extreme, um written by Robert C. Cooper. And there's, there's this, this episode is so meta it hurts. Um, so they get this blip on the radar, uh, showing a, a ship moving and the energy signature turns out to be just like Marty's ship that blew up in the previous one. Well, it was like an escape pod basically, but he apparently still has this like remote control thing. So his friends are still keeping an eye on him, but they're like, and, but, then you know our sg team is uh sent out there to see if they're you know really still out there i mean marty's still there and he's producing this weird show called uh wormhole extreme that's very very similar to their daily actions matter of fact it does say colonel in my uniform and it doesn't it clearly doesn't um it's this, this episode is directed by uh, Peter DeLuise, who was uh, Dom DeLuise's son, along with uh, Michael DeLuise, who was in this, and also David DeLuise was in this uh, uh, series. Uh, he was the uh, later love interest of uh, Carter. Um, he was great. He was like an ex-cop, and he like he eventually gets read into all that. But that's Michael right there. He's I think only this episode, maybe another one. I don't really know. Peter is one of the best directors, especially for television. Uh, in my opinion, but because he, he brings that, that funk that Deloise had. Um, I'm a huge Dom Deloise fan. Um, and you know, all of, all of his movies and like, like the way he acts. And, um, so they send Jack out to be like, Hey, go check on Marty. See what's up. He's like, all right, fine. The show looks terrible, but whatever. It's on cable. Who cares? Um, that time, like, cable was kind of like, you can get away with a lot more stuff. But then again, this is like 2000. Whatever. Anyway. So. <sighs> Marty doesn't remember anybody. He has completely had his memory wiped. He doesn't know how he got, like, the story for Wormhole Extreme, which he was going to call something else. But then, like, the producers got involved. And what I mean, like... <laughs> by um it being so meta is like sure it's a television show on its own and they're going to go see a thing where they're filming a television show that's exactly like their normal life which is a television show um 
I mean, not in the context of itself being a television show, but anyway, you you know what I mean. It's like Star Trek falling in, you know, like finding somebody making Star Trek within the realm of Star Trek. It's kind of like one of those trippy things. Uh, you get producer involvement between, like, you know, changing the the sets and what they can and can't do, and like uh, the director being kind of overbearing and like going over budget. And you just want like the flames bigger, bigger, damn you! And um, like I said, there's there's no gunfire, but a lot of guns. So it's hard to talk when like all all in one go. Anyway, so. Um, they send Jack out there to find out what's going on. And as they're finding out what's going on, they learn Marty's had his brain memory wiped. They're like, okay, where are those other dudes? They're on set. Let's go follow them around. Well, they lead them on this goose chase kind of thing. And they end up in the hands of the NID. Um, our, uh, it was Jackson and, uh, Carter. They get kidnapped kidnapped by the nid and the nid is uh oh national institute of defense or intelligence defense i don't fucking remember i've seen the show a lot they're, they're the asshole guys they're basically the men in black but like the, the civilian version which i guess is men in black um but they don't have access to the stargate there are two stargates um they end up blowing up one for reasons it was being overloaded with power and it was going to explode anyway because of another god sending a direct energy beam into it and then overpowering it and it would turn into a giant neck with a bomb and again it's a whole thing <laughs> but this episode is kind of just silly especially when you get to the end um which the rest of the plot falls as marty gets the serum from his his people because they're like dude you've got the con remote control where is it our ship is coming uh which is this thing it looks fucking amazing by the way um so they 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 have the struggle of like hey man we don't want to kill you just give us this thing we don't want to be like we we don't want to be captured here and we know these other dudes these the nid dudes want the ship they want some big alien tech to defend America or the world, basically America and then the world because we're assholes. Sorry, world. <laughs> this is how it goes down. Um, but in, in, in the uh, in the end, Jack gives them the uh, the device. They beam out like as you've been seeing repeated over and over again. Um, this doesn't explain the entire episode or like the minor little quirks between the two is like getting on a <laughs> like that he's like oh we drew up with the wrong height at the very end of the episode after marty decides is hey i'm not going to go anywhere i'm staying here on earth this is where i need to be i remember everything and you know the reason i because he i forgot to, uh, to mention that he drugged himself this time it wasn't them, those guys, because they give him the serum to be like, hey, man, you wake up, tell us where the fucking thing is. And he does, but it was, he was, he wiped his own memory because when they went back to their home planet, it was completely wiped out and he kind of lost it. He was a more conscientious objector of the objectors of the war. Um, and, uh, I mean, he's a really nice guy, and he was apparently going crazy with, like, the job that the Air Force gave him, so he started taking the drug again to wipe his mind, and he kind of becomes a little bit of a big name for himself in that realm, and, like, the, the, there's, like, this pilot episode. It never gets past the pilot episode, uh, this wormhole extreme thing, which looks god-awful, and I would love to see the entire footage. At the end of the episode, uh, they do, like, a montage kind of thing they're asking questions like you know like in an interview montage kind of kind of whatnot and they go on like different levels of like i'm so-and-so playing this character who's played by this character who's this other character based on the entire movie so it's like inception levels of it and he's just like are you okay are you are, are you okay are you fine um and the, the the brothers start arguing with each other um the deloise brothers they're like what do you mean it's not a real show no it's not a real show we're, we're just you're just shooting this it's, it's not a real show it's like well what plane of reality are we on right now 
you sure it's not a good show? Does my agent know about this? And then, like, he tries to tell him stuff, and he's like, eh, sure, fine, but wait a minute. Why, if it's not a real show, why are you telling me what to do? <laughs> so it gets, like, all met on that. There are other ones, uh, especially the other guys, which is one of my other favorite mo uh, episodes. Um, I think there's gunfire. I, there's actual, like, danger in that episode. There's no real danger in this episode, which is kind of a letdown, but, like, you, there are so many episodes where it's just, like, the fate of the world is at stake. Fucking strap in. <laughs> you know, like, oh, they're going to die. Strap in. You know, you never know. Um, this one is just, it's just funny. It's, uh, it's very well written. The di like the characters and the interactions are basically what moves it. Not like so much like the action action. Like there's an episode season seven here, uh, per two parter heroes. If you know what I'm talking about, I don't want to cover that episode, but I probably will because, oh, that episode hurts, man. There's actual consequences in that episode for the characters. And somebody very, very special dies. And it's not till the like the second part where like everything's revealed and it's like, oh shit. Oh shit. They're gone. This is not that episode. This is the much earlier. <laughs> um much, much earlier episode. Um, I believe it's still season five, I think it's season five, uh, or whatever. Uh, the other guys, I think it's season six when they replace Michael. Um, but that's fine. That, that, that's a whole different thing. He wanted to go do movies or something. I don't know. I, I thought Corey Nemec did a great job in the six, six, uh, thing. I'm rambling about other episodes. You have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. So I'll conclude this. By saying this, this show is great. It has a lot of depth. It has a lot of backstory. There are a many, many other episodes. I mean, you take like 10 episodes, uh, 20 episodes probably per season, probably 20 to 21, depending. Um, and they're good. They're like, they're good. It's, it's crappy sci-fi, sure. But all sci-fi is crappy. You can dress it up all you want. It's still fucking weird shit happening on screen with weird names and beaming out. But it looks awesome. So you're like, I don't give a shit. Space Wizards, bring it on, man. Um, so if you like this episode, um, go watch other episodes. You know, maybe not of my stuff. I don't care. I mean, I do. Thank you for being here. If you are watching this, awesome. Hi. Um, I just got back from a baby there's a baby reveal thing. It's weird. There's like a bunch of crap all over the yard. Congratulations, by the way. Um, but anyway, that has nothing to do with that. And I told you I wouldn't be able to pay attention for more than 10 minutes. Um, thank you so much for watching, Carl. Leave, leave all of that in. Uh, and I will see you next Stargate time, next Stargate channel. There's only one channel we'll get eventually get into my favorite episode which is not from this series it's from atlantis it's called midway it's fucking amazing please stay safe i'll see you guys later stay safe how was that that was good enough for a walk away we're not we're not walking I, you're invisible and i'm sitting down also, I'm not wearing pants. That seems like a personal problem. Meow. You don't wear pants either. You're a cat. <laughs>